Definitely. We've, yeah, we've all been there, haven't we? Daunting first day at a new school. Do you remember that? It was a long time ago it for us. It was a long time ago. <laughs> but uh, BBC comedy drama called Borders taps into that feeling and then some. It follows a group of talented black teenagers from inner city London who win scholarships to an elite boarding school. We'll speak to one of the stars in a minute, but just have a look at the moment when they arrive at their new school. Welcome to your new home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is serious. This? Serious. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Baby. Important to look the part. Is that going to stop them from staring? If they stare, stare back. Hi, how you doing? Gorgeous weather we're having. <laughs> Let them know you belong. All right. All right, good luck. Go. Well, you're not coming with us. What, you want me to hold your hand? Look, you're prepped for this, all of you. All right? If you need me, just a call away. But don't be calling all the time. Don't be popping off my phone. All right, go on. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. It looks brilliant, doesn't it? One of the stars of the show, Josh Tadeku, joins us here on the sofa now. Morning. Morning. Nice to meet you. Do you want to give us a little bit of background about what that scene was about and what has just happened up until that moment? Yeah, so, um, so these kids from London, they win a scholarship, very intelligent. They win a scholarship to St Gilbert's the Elite private school and um, yeah that's them arriving some of them are nervous some of them are excited to get into the challenge and uh, yeah from there we just see their journey the ups and downs and and yeah we'll see what happens there have been so many films and TV <laughs> shows about school particularly boarding schools over the decades but yeah. this is this is a whole new take isn't it 100 percent 100 percent there's a whole new take because yeah the, these kids it's kind of like a fish out of war experience and you know it's very raw and real, and I think that's the main appeal of the show. And um, some of the comedy moments can feel quite like in your face, but it, it's funny because it can be true. So I think a lot of people will be able to relate to the show, and uh, and yeah, it's gonna it's gonna make a lot of people laugh and talk. Um, it's not just funny though, is it? There's also a really serious underlying message. There's really yes. interesting social commentary going on here. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I think I think it was just like when when you make a show like this, it can't always it, it was never gonna always be comedy because you know you put these people in this situation and it's just inevitable that some of these things are gonna happen. And I feel like whatever space in life you're in, whether you're in school and you're in this situation or you're in a, a higher place in life and and you're in an office and you're the minority, I feel like you would relate to some of the themes being shown in this sh show. And yeah. And your characters are trying to navigate the fact that they've got this potentially amazing opportunity yes. in a very different world. And they're trying to figure out, are they being used in some way yeah. here? Is the school trying to, is this good PR for the school or is yeah. this genuine? Yeah, I think um, it's tricky because when you're handed a good opportunity like that, you want to take it, but then you don't want to necessarily lose yourself. So it's a question of, do you play the game to get to where you want to be? Or do you, you know, stick to your guns, stick to yourself? And I feel like we see that conflict a lot through the show, and that's one of the themes that I really enjoy. And how important is it that the show is really honest about showing everyday racism, everyday, <laughs> you know, stuff that might happen all the time? Yeah, no, it has to be. It has to be because that's like w without that, it's not. It automatically becomes so far from reality. And we want to show the truth. And um, I, I hope some people may look at it and and maybe not have seen something ha that happened in the past in their life and been like, oh, maybe this was that, you know, and, and it brings some realizations and stuff like that and makes people talk in general. That's, that's what I want from the show. I want people to talk about it. I want people to, you know, just converse amongst themselves and, and have a good time with it. Were you able to bring some of your own experiences, your own thoughts to, to the writing, to the drama? Yeah, so, um, yeah, I went, to, I went to a school where I was the minority for, for a lot of my time at, time at school. And um, yeah, when I looked at my character, I kind of just pinpoint the, pinpointed the similarities and, and yeah, I just really wanted to make sure I brought the truth to the role because, you know, as I said, without the authenticity, you were nothing, so yeah. 
What was that like for you? So your own experience of school, if you said you were in the minority? Yeah. Um, again, yeah, just kind of felt a bit like a fish out of water, a bit alienated. It wasn't all bad. You know, at school is where I found my love for acting, so I don't, I don't regret that. But yeah, there were some moments like mentally where it can get a bit challenging and a bit tough. But yeah, I'm not going to speak for everybody because some people might have went to minority schools where they're minority and completely enjoyed it. You know, and this show isn't short of those characters. And that's the important thing, you know, it's not just a thing about racism, you know, some people enjoy it and assimilate mm. and, you know, so, yeah. Looks a bit like Hogwarts from this, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, yes, the school is very grand and very big and it was so easy to play on that kind of, like, grand feeling because, you know, it just feels kind of a bit magical in there, so, yeah. Was it fun making it? I mean, you get all of you, like, hundreds of young people together, all young actors, I mean, yeah. it must have been a laugh. No, for sure, for sure, it was fun, yeah, I mean... Us, uh, the main five cast and everybody else, we kind of just, we gelled instantly and, and having fun around Bristol when we were filming, it was, it was, it was seamless and it was amazing. Uh, what's next, Josh? So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm next going to be in a show called Supercell that's premiering on Netflix soon this year. Uh, that's about five black people who randomly get superpowers and they have to deal with it in their day-to-day -day life. So. Have you got a superpower? I do have a superpower. Can you tell us what it is? I cannot. Oh, <laughs> I will be no. fired if I do. So, <laughs> yeah. Don't get fired. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Is it keeping secrets, perhaps? Yeah. Clearly. Oh, Clearly maybe. Clearly quite maybe. good at that. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but that sounds really exciting. That sounds fun. Yeah, really excited for that one. That one's going to be really good. And, yeah, it's a sci-fi drama in London. You don't usually see it, so... I'm, I'm excited for that one, yeah. You like these things which are a surprise, don't you? Like a, a <laughs> twist on a twist. Yeah, yeah, cos, I, I mean, I feel like in, in, in our community, um, I feel like we need to start telling more different stories, you know. We had a long run of telling, like, kind of similar stories. So I'm all for original stories, and that's what I live for as an actor. I live to just do shit. Stop, sorry. <laughs> I live to just do stuff. Stuff, yes. yes. <laughs> I'm going to send you back to that posh boarding school, <laughs> and they'll, uh, they'll tell you off, yeah. give you a detention. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll forgive you. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks honest. for coming Thank you in, very Josh. much. <laughs> And you can watch the second episode of Borders <laughs> on BBC Three next Tuesday at nine o'clock. Uh, we're sending you back to school. Uh, the full series <laughs> is available now on the BBC iPlayer. It's going to get detention, isn't is it? Is that what his superhero is? Uh, super apparently, yeah. skill is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>